Good evening again, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. There are more COVID-19 concerns in Montgomery County to tell you about. Officials say a coach carrying the virus might have infected other people and contact tracers say they need more information than they're getting. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koop joins us now from King of Prussia. He's been speaking with officials today. Dan. Yuki, the county commissioner's office is not trying to make an example out of this particular person, but rather show how working against their office is counterproductive. A youth sports coach tests positive for COVID-19. During that infectious period, they coached. They also went to a party. Chair of the Montgomery County Board of Commissioners, Val Arkush, says an Upper Marion coach has not cooperated fully with county contact tracers, making their jobs more difficult in identifying other potential positive cases. To date, Montgomery County's positive testing rate is below 4%. When you're staying at below 5%, you have good suppression of the virus, and that does make it relatively safe for our children to go back to school this fall. They're going to go somewhere and they're going to play somewhere. And we feel that the high school athletic environment is actually safer because, again, we have health and safety plans put in place. On the high school level, the PIAA announced this week they will not postpone their fall sports schedule and will leave the reporting of positive COVID cases to individual high schools. They have yet to figure out how they will enforce accurate reporting among so many member schools and plan to discuss it at a board meeting in two weeks. Some of the things we're talking about are maybe maybe we have a regular season and we don't have a postseason. And that those schools work that work that out locally. If hey, if, if you choose, if you don't want to play us because you have concerns about that, then we'll take the forefoot and we'll move on down the road. Now, some of those recommendations the PIAA will be making specifically for football will be no post-game handshakes, limiting the size of your traveling party to games, and less huddling. Some teams don't huddle at all, so maybe not a difficult recommendation. We're live in King of Prussia, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Dan, thank you for that.